morning. Good morning. So we didn't go to Carrington Falls last night because it started to rain and it is still kind of raining now but we're going to go check it out before we leave the park. It's the first time we've had to put the tent away soaking wet mm. so we need to find somewhere to sort of dry it out but it's not going to get dry here. So. I'm super excited about these falls. We spoke to some people yesterday and um, they said it was pretty decent. The people that we spoke to said the falls are about 90 meters. So we just thought we had to go see it before we leave. There is something so awesome about waking up in nature and like the trees and the oxygen and just the smells. Every morning we get there. We're very lucky. Wow. That's quite impressive, actually. We would keep walking around the track as it is a big loop and uh, the next stop is the Kangaroo River which is obviously the river that makes the falls. sure how to say it but we are at the Millamora lookout or Minya <laughs> I don't know how to say it but it looks really cool we could go on quite a long ish walk to along the coast but I'm not doing anything until I've had my breakfast so we need to go find breakfast and then I think we're going to go to a different beach. Off at a cafe a minute drive from where we were because we're both starving. We had a really early night last night just because it was raining. Just tried to get some editing done and then went to sleep. So we didn't eat too much. So we're just going to have some brunch. Then we've got quite a beachy day today. And then we're going to have a shower at one of the beaches because we felt disgusted. But we thought there's no point doing a shower before we go to the beaches because we're going to get sandy. So beaches and a nice shower. Someone in our comments has told us to try chicken salt on our chips. So I've ordered it today and I'm going to try it. Very nice. It does taste a bit chickeny. <laughs> That's really nice. That is a game changer. So that breakfast was absolutely delicious. We are heading to the Kilalea Reserve now, and uh, essentially, we need somewhere to set up the tent again so we can dry it out. And also, it's very close to the beach, so maybe we go there for the afternoon. We've parked up, uh, we're at the reserve, you're not allowed to camp here, um, so we can't leave the car, but it needs to dry out, otherwise it'll get mouldy and damp. We're actually not setting the tent up tonight because we're going to sleep in the car, so if we don't do it now it'll be like two days before it goes up, um, and that's probably a little bit too much. 
So we're just gonna chill for 20 minutes, let that dry out, it's getting hot now, and uh, head to the beach afterwards. It has been 20 minutes. Luckily the tent is now dry and you can put it away and get on the beach. Woo! Yeah! There's a snake on the right, so just be careful as you go down. We haven't actually seen any snakes in the wild yet, so we're going about very nervously. And I spotted it, it was a red belly black snake, which is one of the most venomous snakes they have there. It was really small, and I tried to film it so you can see it a little bit. <laughs> that was really cool to actually see one, but a bit scary as well because you know it could kill, probably kill you. We had a lovely quick dip in the sea. We decided to buy a cold drink when we came up because that walk was quite hard in the heat. Now we're going to head to Jones Beach. <laughs> we thought it was quite apt. an amazing day especially afternoon on Jones Beach what can I say it is the best beach in Australia <laughs> I joke of course but we've got to do some work now so we are heading back to Port Kembla now and we are heading to a Starbucks just to get some food and also we've got quite a lot of work to do so we need to plug our devices in whilst we do that. We had a nice shower after James' beach so we're all fresh. That is the good thing about the Australian beaches is just they all have showers. They're cold but at least you can shower. Yeah. Most of them anyway, not everyone but a majority I would say so far. a bit of editing in Starbucks. Now we're gonna head to the rest stop. Uh, it was about a 20 minute drive from the Starbucks. And we can't put the tent up, but we'll just sleep in the car. <laughs> At least it's free and it's got toilets, so it's not all bad. Good morning. So we slept in the car last night as there was no campsite so we just pulled over a rest area. We are heading to Kayama and there's quite a few things that we need to do around the area so today's going to be very very busy. Plus we're staying at a campsite tonight where apparently you can see wombats. We've had breakfast, we're now heading to the Boneyard Beach.
driven into Kiyama and we're going to see the lighthouse should be a nice view from there and also there's something called the little blowhole I can't really remember how it works but there's like a hole in the roof of like a cave so when the wave comes in it squirts out the top <laughs> so we're going to see that as well Big props to Kayama. Wow, this is such a cute town. Well, we were going to go to the Kayama Natural Falls right by the blowhole, but it was really busy, <laughs> so we decided not to. We're going to head straight to our campsite because there's a lake there that you can swim in and there should be loads of friendly wombats so we're going to make the most of camp and I think we both need a bit of a chill, a bit of a relax so we're just going to enjoy our campsite for tonight and see a wombat. I don't really know what they look like. First thing is to get some shade. So awning up and normally Jordan loves to wax stuff so she normally does this. But I can't find my hat. And it's too hot out here so I'm being a gentleman. It is absolutely baking hot. But we have a river. Well, yeah. yeah, we do. I keep saying lake. It's called Kangaroo River. So we're going to go in. Also, we have the chance to see some wombats and kangaroos. Haven't seen either yet. But it's still quite early. Quite early. I'm just praying I see one because I've not seen a wombat before, even in a zoo. Thirty nine degrees, time to get in the river. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan just made us a lovely late lunch. I was absolutely starving. And it should be heading in towards wombat time. So, we're gonna take a little stroll through the park and hopefully see some. And we're definitely gonna get in the river again later. It was so nice. Mm. 
So neither one of us have ever seen a wombat before. I don't even think we've seen them in a zoo. So this should be pretty cool if we can find them. We've read that wombats are mostly nocturnal, so they'll stay in their burrows until it's a bit cooler. We have seen a few of their burrows. I just really hope they come out tonight, because it's been so hot today, they're probably hiding away. I just really hope they come out tonight. A little sneak peek of Dave in action. <laughs> What's the sit, Shen? Pretty far. So apparently they can apparently the tunnels can reach about 150 meters and they can be quite complex. So they could be <laughs> quite far around us but we can't see them. You are meant to see one map here and you could see all of their burrows. Oh, I'm dying to know, am I going to see one? So they are nocturnal, but like, are we going to see them in the dark? Probably not. So now I'm just worrying that we're not going to see any. This is what I was most excited for, so I'm praying that we see some. We're going to take a walk over there just before the sun sets because we really, really just want to see a wombat. <laughs> but the kangaroos are amazing as well. But I'm just praying that we see one. I really hope that we see some. We've come so far out of where we were supposed to be going just so Jordan can see a mm. wombat. Well, me too as well. But fingers crossed. Please, please, please. <laughs> I know it's going to make her so happy, so... Welcome to Wombat Watch. <laughs> We're going to sit on this rock until we find one. The sun is setting, they should be out. And we have Dave, so <laughs> I'm confident. I think I've seen one. Could be a kangaroo, but... I think it's a wombat. Let's go check it out. <laughs> we can see our first wombat. It looks quite big actually. It's pretty big. It looks so fluffy. Apparently they're really friendly here, so we'll get a little bit closer and try and show you. <laughs> <gasps> he's moving, he's moving. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Oh. oh my god! Wow! Oh, he's so big! <laughs> Check this out! <laughs> Wombats and the most beautiful sunset happening over there. <laughs> what an awesome night! <laughs> and kangaroos as well. <laughs> this place is awesome. I love it. <laughs> there is another wombat over there. I just heard him chomp a tree down. <laughs> I don't think he chomped it down. <laughs> Sound like you know. Wow. 
there's a really little one but he got a little bit scared last time we walked past so we're gonna be extra careful Gonna head back to the tent now, it's getting quite dark. Pickle barrows. <laughs> but hopefully we see some more along the way. 